Okay, with problems with my wheel, we are off board this week for the race. We are starting with 4G Crab at the start of the race, so let's see how things go and away the cars go. We will watch the race unfold. They're in the lead, the cars all around, so just a shame my sequential shift uh, packed up on me, but we will watch how other people went on this week. And at the minute we're concentrating on the leader, it is a good pulling away a little we may have to switch to the B2 car before long. During pre-practice my sequential shifter on the wheel right hand side from the upshift went faulty and we had to use a, instead of paddle shift we had to use sequential shift so yeah, we didn't get on too well. Lap times were down some three or four seconds a lap using the sequential shift over the paddle shift, which just shows the advance that Ferrari made for the 640 when. Nigel Mansell was there in 1989. The first bunch of cars already getting away from the main body of the pack. We are a long way down. You will see us. Two litres remaining. Okay, mate. Push now. We can catch up here. So we jump to lap three, and the two lead cars have uh, got away from the field. Start the fourth lap. We'll change to a different car. We're now P14. There's our car. Already done damage to our car. And there's one of the cars making a mess of his car there, a bit bashed up front wing. There's the Battle for 13th and 14th on the track. And everybody down the field having their own personal battles. We were well out of it. We didn't have any battles whatsoever going around. Down the trying to get down the inside there and making it down the inside. Yellow car out breaking itself a little there. But again trying to get back onto the silk cut car. And so Motorsport Thursday we are going to have to have a look at our battle ship and see if we can either fix it or rig a new battleship upon it and the salt cook car now getting a bit of a gap over the car that you were battling with we will have a look now P11 and Bill Glover with the Repsol livery car which is just ahead of the salt cook car at the moment. Mm. 
nice to have an off-board shot of the cars for a change. We normally do the on-board, but this is an off-board one. Now jump to the P10 car. Got green delivery car. Let's have a different camera view on. That's the 05 in P10 at the moment. Now, with the problems we had with the paddle shift, I would normally. Uh, use this race as one of the two drop scores but we missed two races over Christmas and New Year so thought it was better to carry on pick up as many points as we can and there's the Simon Maltby with the car number 16 also looks like his wings are a little twisted on one side. The car still run, seems to be running reasonably well. Our head up in there. Made a little bit of a mistake. We'll jump now to the car that he's chasing, and it is Chris Kane, one of the admins of the site, and the person who hosts it. There it is. David Coulthard style of helmet aboard the Olympus JPS Radical. And once again, we found a little battle to follow. And another car coming in as well. He looked like he made a mistake of getting caught, but these two cars. Bit of a twitch there from the 16 car. Christopher Kane in the 69 car. Now, once again, it seems to be getting a little bit of a gap. From over the line to start the next lap of the race. So, we're now on the 8th of 18 laps. This battle looks like it's going to go on for a little while, not sure. Not actually looked at the results before I started recording this, so I don't know who finishes where, apart from we finished in 15th. And once again, look down, putting the nose down the inside of the car. Out of the second gear airpin they go into the Past the part of the section once more. Not sure if we'd have finished much higher up than than what we did. Even if we had the sequential shift, just would have been easier for us to race. Chris getting a little bit sideways there out of that corner. 
once again putting his nose down the inside as he got over the line to start the ninth lap and is this a change of position it is indeed and so who's going to win out over that I think that is settled for now. We will have a look at the seventh place car, which is Dave M. Dowson, and he's just ahead of Chris Kane, and can't remember who else it was who's behind him. have a look and see and in sixth place all on his own is Ray Peasley not got anybody round him whatsoever and he is coming round to start the I think the tenth lap yes, well, to his tenth lap now is Ray Peasley battle for fifth place with Paul Clark and Daryl Taylor these two have been a nice little battle second of these two cars reminds me pretty much of the Rotary BRM from 76 or 77 was it colour scheme looks very much like it and over the line to start the 11th of 18 laps now we're back with us and we have got this battle looming up on us, sparks flying out in the back of the car as we hit the curbs. Change to the Nigel Mansell helmet uh, certainly brought the Nigel Mansell's dramas to our racing. Nigel never did anything by arse and we are doing the same pulling to the side there to let the two cars go and then spinning to boot and now we are back with Paul Clark who is in fifth place so once again with the fifth place battle That battle's trying to go pretty much all the way to the flag. Third place car, Simon Edwards, the 52 car. Nice delivery car there. We, fingers crossed, by next week should have our own orange car with Vapors Mansfield sponsorship on it and the Summer Farm Estates for our own channel on the front of the car and in second place there is Martin Booker seen him pretty much every race in stalwart of the championship Well, 
of where the link car is. There he is, just going across the line. Poor G Crab with the Hipster Jaguar livery car. And the Hipster Jaguar livery looks good on the Radical. What lap are we on here? We are on the 13th of the 18 laps. We will now jump to P13, Tim Adcock. I don't think we've seen Tim since the start of the race. There he is in the 17 car. That corner has just gone through one of the most more difficult corners on the track. Uh, one of the more difficult corners on any track that we've visited with the Radicals since I've been in the Championship. Uh, this is the second season of the Christopher Kane Radical se Series. There once more the salt cup car pretty much running on his own as well. And that is Mark Edmonds. Brown, the 0 3 car going over to start is 14th up, I'd imagine. He is indeed. Another driver pretty much having a lonely race. Somebody, oh, it's a Repsol car. And then back with us once more. Car looking very battered and bruised on the right hand side. A mistake early in the race. Not only damaging the car, but also slowing it, I would imagine. Probably a second of the four seconds we was off during the race was down to the damage. It's pointing to the side there to let the following car go. And fingers crossed, this is the final outing for the Wins livery before we get our own orange Mansfield Vapors livery car. Also got the Silk Cup car coming up on us as well. Going to have to have a bit of practice with the sequential shift, see if we can get used to driving as fast with that as we can with the paddle shift. I have to talk nicely to my good friend who's pretty good with electrics, electronic things, see if he can have a look at it for us. All the 
COVID restrictions, of course, in consideration. You may be able to talk with Ground out to get it done. I think there's a spring in it and the spring has gone. I think that's what. I think that is the problem, is that we've got a spring gone. There's some screws to take the wheel apart, I think. At least one screw. We'll see if we can get it fixed. There's the leader going through the lappers once more. Uh, the lead group of cars once more lapping us. Uh, we slid very sideways there. Taking our time back to the circuit knowing that this car's bearing down on us. damaging the car. Mm -hmm. uh, trying our best to get back on circuit without impeding cars that are bearing down on us. Mm -hmm. uh, that right hand side of the car very badly damaged now. I think it's uh, also crabbing a little as it comes around. We will go and see with the, that are on the 16th lap. That's Paul Glover with the Repsol car. But with P3, so yeah, he's on, P3 is on the final lap of the race. So. There is P2, Martin Booker just ahead of P3. I think it was a third place car that of oh, Simon Edwards. I think it was Simon Edwards who ran out of fuel towards the end of the race. So. Lap. And now round to start finish line once more to take the check and flow. No, they're on the last lap. On to the 19th and final lap, I think. Salt Cook car there. Everybody's slowing down. That is the end of the race. So we'll watch our car over the line and hope you enjoyed the race today a bit more than what we enjoyed racing in it. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see more of what we do here, please subscribe to the channel, give that bell a ring. It will tell you when we do our iRacing, when we do our farming. Until you join us again next time, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye for now.